Alright, let's get started. So I'm going to start off by doing dime drills, go 10 good ones, and then we'll go into reloads or whatever else. Alright, clear it. Ten, final one, and then we get to do fun stuff. Ah, damn. One more. Come on, number ten. Alright, good. Got the dime drill. Alright, so I'm also going to be reviewing the, the T-Rex Arms Raptor holster. This is a Glock 22 that's been cut down to a Glock 19 size. And then I'm also going to be doing reloads. So, that was just a dime drill. Let's get on with some other stuff. So, we're going to clear extract and then we're going to reload. Alright. Clear extract, orientate, reload, and holster. Rear extract, oriented, extend, touch, press, nothing. Tap rack, locks the rear, get that mag out of there. Also reload and put a new one in. And then you are good. Alright, so little things about this Raptor holster is other holsters like this Reinforced Tactical one. They do not have a concealment claw on them or anything like that. So when you put it on, it'll just kick your frame of your gun out. Whereas this one, it does have a little claw to push it back in. Just reset the drill real quick. Uh, other than that, it has fully adjustable retention on it. And then it also can come in multiple colors. And it ships pretty quickly. Alrighty. Alright. So, one more time, we're gonna clear extract, orientate, day click, and then load the gun. Clear extract, orientate, extend, touch, press, click, tap, tap, nothing happens. Click, reload. And extend touch press. Alright. Let me set the sear real quick. Oh, and this holster just comes with a clip. And it also comes with a tuckable clip also. No leather loops. So you can get those up separately. You can also get it to where there's a sidecar, which is another mag carrier for it. Clear extract, orientate, extend touch press, click. Walk to the rear, get the mag out. And... Set the drill. So, I'm starting to notice I'm starting to fumble or fumble some of the reloads. So, I'm going to slow down a little bit, try to get a good purchase on them, and insert them the correct way rather than doing a whole bunch of dumb reps of it the wrong way. this holster for about six months, took three or four classes with it so far, carried it about every single day in that time frame when I was legally able to, and yeah, so it works out pretty good. It's a lot better than the Green Force Tactical Holster or anything else that I, that I bought. I bought hybrid holsters. Those are a pain in the butt. That Green Force Tactical one, a Bravo Concealment Holster, which is too big, is I think they just mess up on their advertising on it. It's supposed to be an inside the waistband, waistband appendix rig, and it was. It felt like it was supposed to be on the side or hip. They just changed the name on it and put the same holster in there. Oh well. So we're gonna clear, extract, orientate, extend, touch, press, click, tap, back, nothing happened. Extend, touch, press, reload, index, orientate, overhand rack, and press. Set this here. Alright. One more 
more time. Clear, extract, orientate, extend to press. Click, nothing happens. Overhand rack, it locks the rear. Index, insert, overhand rack. And press again. Reset the sear. And get the third mag ready. So that time, if you guys were looking at my hands, which is what you should be doing, uh, you'll notice I got a lot better index on the magazine. Now what I'm talking about by indexing, previously, all I was doing was grabbing it just randomly positioned really low on the magazine, where in that time I indexed all the way to where my finger was all the way up here. And it makes it a lot easier for you to point that magazine into the grip of your firearm frame with your fire. Alright. Alright. Clear, extract, orientate, extend, touch, press, tap, pack, drop the magazine, get full reach, index, over and rack, and press again. Um so far I'd recommend the holster to a lot of people. Um yeah, it's just another piece of gear, and I don't really enjoy doing gear reviews, but this one, it does need to be said. It's probably the, one of the best holster options out there that I've tried. I am not one that goes out and buys really expensive gear, as you can tell. I think if you invest more in training, you won't need all that expensive crap. People who usually buy expensive stuff like that are chasing... A goal that they want and don't want to put in the work by doing dry fire and other things such as this. Or they've already achieved it and they're just trying to squeeze every little bit of performance out of themselves. Give or take. Alright, clear, extract, orientate, extend, touch, press, tap, rack, tap, rack, box to the rear, drop that magazine, get full index, overhand rack, and press. Reset this here. Uh, another thing, I know that if you are doing drills with the snap caps or if you're doing or you're setting up failures, malfunctions with your guns, uh, you don't want to put the round in the chamber and then send your entire slide home because that extractor claw will ram that case and then go over that lip. Now when it does that, you can break that extractor claw off. Now what I'm doing by resetting the sear, I'm pulling it back just enough, just like a press check, to reset the sear, and then send it home again. Alright? One more time. Clear, extract, orientate, extend, touch, press, tap, back, locks the rear, get your new one, overhand rack, and press. Alright. So another thing that I did not state before I started this video is that whenever you do dry fire, I want to reiterate that all your ammo should be in a different area of the house or wherever you're doing your practice. You don't want any live ammo near you or around you just in case you're doing it with snap guts like this or other ones that look very similar to it, you don't load that up in there. Do a few more of these, then we'll try to do some other things. Alright, so we're going to clear our cargo, extract, orientate, extend, touch, press, tap, track, walks to the rear, get full firing, get full index, insert, and press again. Reset the sear. Alright, I already did a review on this little mag pouch. If you want, go into the videos right below this well, in my channel and you shall find it. Alright. Clear, extract, orientate, extend, touch, press, tap, back, index, overhand rack. Uh, 
Oh, and then I got a new backdrop. Whoop de doo. Took all of looking around and finding a bed sheet. So, if you do have, like how I was saying, expensive firearms, like Azev, Glock, and stuff like that, nothing against you. I am just saying from experience, it usually means they haven't put in the work. Instead, so they just buy extra gear, hoping that makes them a better shot. They could already be really good shots, and at that point, like, if you're Rob Latham or really good shooters, like competitive shooters, then all means go buy it. If you are brand new to the gun industry or the firearms market and you're just now getting into it, your first gun should not be that $1,700 gun. It should be a $500 Glock or, or a $350 Smith & Wesson. Shoot the crap out of that and then move up to a different firearm. So you don't do stupid shit like that. And that's why dry fire is so important because all these manipulations of the firearm, doing reloads and stuff, that is where you make your money. Now on that one, doing a little more self-diagnosis, I am starting to bring my gun up here and down into here, my head's going down a little bit more. I'm starting to watch the reloads. Now the jury's still out on whether you should be up here looking at your threat or make sure you get that reload done quick and clean and then look for your threats. I'm thinking, well, my thoughts on that really don't matter, but if I'm doing the reload, I will be moving. Can't really move too far in this space. I guess I can start. I would move laterally and pretty much run my ass off in order not to get shot. So therefore, it'd be really hard for me to sit here and look at that guy or that person or that threat while reloading and moving at the same time. That'd take a lot of practice. Okay guys, camera cut out and it's at 15 minutes so I'm going to do the moving and reloading next time. Thank you for watching. Have a great time and make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day.